Shalom, giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Yahweh Kadash, and I will announce to the other apostles, elder bishops, and brothers on the great millstone. Salutations to the like This is your brother Rai Banyamian, here to share another lesson. I don't know the title to this uh, lesson yet, but the first scripture I want to share before I continue with the article is in the book of Isaiah chapter 31 and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Now the Holy One of Israel is uh, Yahweh, which is uh, the heavenly power, our Father, and His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior. He is our Deliverer. He is our Redeemer. So this uh, scripture goes into, you know, those are all people that trust in Egypt or in today's time, you know, America, aka Babylon the Great, because they have a uh, strong looking army. They have a good economy that provides a so-called, you know, certain, a certain standard, you know, of living. You know, there's uh, always employment, you know, there's work, right? You could, uh, you know, go to school, be wherever it is you want to be. So everything looks good. Um, the faculties are there, um, you know, for so-called, you know, worldly success right and, and on the flip side you know if you want to be a demon the doors are, are widely open to engage you know what i mean it's certainly a place of uh, sodom and, and egypt right so what to do is i trust in those things because uh, it, it looks strong but because the law don't have um i ain't gonna say you don't have but they don't show the glitz and, 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 and glamour, at least not yet in the spirit. So people forget, you know, about his uh, power and what he could do. And people don't understand that the power that Egypt or so-called America has is because the Lord allowed it. You understand? They did not gain it of themselves. So why not trust the source of where the power come from and not of the nation itself? The reason why I read that first is because as you all know if you've been paying attention ups uh they signed a contract with um you know the union which allowed drivers and other workers to be paid uh handsomely you know for the um for their labor so people looked at it as a sign of securement right they looked at it as a sign of securement but even that is feeling now and the point of this lesson is that um you know you expect the unexpected man um you know just as you know job suffered and he held on to his integrity in all that he lost you know we had to have the same thing you know uh starting with the apostles and elders on down we will not lie to you there is a time of trouble you know he apostle to high Elder Apostle Taha, uh, he coined this year, the whole full year of the time of Jacob's trouble, right? So we are not lying to you that a time of trouble is coming, right? And I'm talking about the trouble that you, you have with uh, figuring out wood puzzles and all this other stuff. I'm talking about real trouble, right? Uh, losing jobs is, 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 is one thing. Uh, surviving right and not only that but living upright in a time where the convenience in society would not be available you know like not having a you know cell phone food re readily available water a lot of people is going to be lying which is sin right they're going to be committing can cannibalism which is sin right they're going to be uh, kill uh, killing one another which is sin so that they could survive. You understand? These are part of the trouble that we are going to face. We are going to be 
try not to say like go you understand so we're not lying to you i'm telling you that is a time of um comfort and success ahead yeah in this in the spirit at the end but you know in the kingdom we would have that when the lord delivers us lord willing you know we would have that but right now you know we are in a serious time a time of um circumspection a time to be ready you know we're all gonna lose our jobs at one point we may have to flee our homes for a any plethora of reasons um com coming up especially when they uh shut the system down and they bring into effect the motb right how can you work by yourself and uh live and thrive and continue in, in the society without it so we're gonna have to trust in your bashir and shine for all our needs so there's a point to, uh, the lesson is to trust in your how about shine when these things uh come upon us and it will come suddenly because like i said they signed a good contract with the union and uh, we all know union jobs are pretty much good and secure jobs right to the point that uh, the Babylonians they are very prideful of it they have good benefits uh, vision dental so on and so forth medical good um, pay you know vacation days so on you know so on and so forth and they look down at and laugh at people that work these so called menial jobs that doesn't have the benefits it's a quick thing change look, look how, how quickly things change so we had to expect these things in our life one day things may be smooth and uh, next, you know, our hell could break loose. So expect these things. So this when the time come, you can cry out to you. How about Shemi Shai? For your help and not to rely upon the broken reed of um the society. Right? Don't lean upon it. It's like a broken stick, a walking stick. Right? Trust in you. So I'm going to read this article. She has scripture at the end. And close it out, Lord will it be edified unto the elect. Because soon these lessons will not be up. Um, so taking as much as you can, build up your feet and your fear and your passion and your shy as much as you can. It says UPS lays off 12,000, right? Uh, we don't expect these jobs to come back. So you're letting you know that, hey, there's no bright light at the end of the tunnel. Normally they try to lie, you know, with, with the economy and stuff. To let you know that just because things are going down now, you come back and spring back up. No. Alright. This is a year of revealing, man. Secrets are being found out. Right? The light is being shone in the darkness. And it is revealing things. So the day in line, they're saying, look, we don't expect these jobs to come back. Alright. Uh, it says UPS is tightening its belt in 2024 to the tune of 1 billion in core savings, laying off 12,000 employees or 14% of managers in the process. It says roughly 75% of job cuts will take place in the first half of the year. So 2024 started off with a bang. It says according to UPS Chief Financial Officer Brian Newman, Right, most of the rules being asked will come from management and right? people who make good money, uh, along with some contractors. UPS has about 85,000 full time and part time managers as part of its global workforce of 495,000 uh, employees. Yeah, four hundred ninety five hundred thousand. Uh it's a change in the way we work, said Newman, as volume returns to the system, we don't expect these jobs to come back. It's changing the effective way that we operate. Since peak demand during uh the C nineteen in twenty twenty one staff at the company has been reduced by 45,000 employees. The 1 billion in savings <coughs> comes after a 2024 
uh, which CEO Carol Tomei uh, bluntly called a difficult and disappointing year. Now it says the layoffs represent yet another round of job cuts within the wider logistical industry and illustrate the pressures uh, that the company has been under since agreeing on a new five-year contract with the team society as a union the other day uh, it says that deal tacked on 500 million more expenses in the back half of 2023 than ups initially expected further holding down margins at the company now remember their shareholders and stuff at this company um so the only day supposed to make money for these people right so if they can't make the money the first thing they do is use words like restructuring us so restructuring is the human element being reduced in the um in the workforce right um says, as part of his course cutting, told me reveal America's largest package delivery company is exploring strategic alternatives for Coyote Logistics, which has gone through multiple rounds of layoffs since the beginning of 2023. Now, you see a big company like that, and where's the word that they just use? America's largest package delivery company. So, one would think that when they go there, uh, they go there at a young age or whatever, and they guarantee to fulfill whatever need, uh, you know, financially most likely, uh, with that particular in you know institution, because it's large, right? There's funding, uh, there's perks, there's rewards that are there that may not be with a small company that might be likely to fail you know what i'm saying look what they did with this during the c19 a lot of small mom and pop uh businesses went under but what happened the big ones remain so people is going to carry that sentiment going forward but they're not gonna trust in your bashim like i mentioned in isaiah chapter 31 of this one all right they'll trust in egypt it says uh ups acquired coyote in 20 15 to expand its portfolio into freight brokering but Tome acquiesced, acquiesced during uh, the call that the logistics giant did not understand at the time how uh, clinical the freight business was boom and bust freight cycles such as the current freight recession that has been going on since 2022. A major contributor to declining revenues at freight brokerage industry wide, while Coyote peaked to over 4 billion in revenue during the C19 amid increased e commerce demand, revenue has come way down uh, since then, Tommy said. Nothing that the company's supply chain solutions uh, unit saw a three billion uh, revenue decline to 13.2 billion in 2023 she explained that the coyote made up 38 percent of that uh, yearly decline and 40 percent of the fourth of the fourth quarter uh, revenue dip right so you do not it did not work out as well as they thought and this is going to happen in these last days a lot of people they're gonna do things with the hope um that it's going to work out you know investments you know buying homes uh, and stuff you know but they will not be able to hold on to it for um, you know a long time it says if uh if you've got that kind of volatility on the revenue line you're going to have to even to have even more volatility on the earnings line, Tommy said. UPS is also shuttering 30 UPS stores as part of the consolidation. So you see, uh, not only the management, but the cutting back stores. So less brick and mortar stores taking your packages 
uh, to get it scanned in and stuff. It says UPS is right, so addition a small cutback on the company's roughly 5,500 locations. Uh, Flexport to slash 20% of staff again. It says the changes to the business come as UPS saw drops in revenue, volume, and net income across all business segments in the fourth quarter. The Atlanta headquartered uh, carrier uh, issued a disappointing revenue outlook for 2024, with the company expecting global revenue between 92 billion to 94.5 billion. Analysts surveyed by Refinitiv had been uh, expecting revenue of at least 95.5 billion. The current forecast would be at 1.1 percent to 3.8 percent jump. Uh, from the 2023 uh, revenue number. Now, UPS, they have their own uh, planes and stuff, just like FedEx. When you go to uh, one of those airports, you know, like Indianapolis, they have their own sections. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they have their own sections, man. You know, it'd be, and it'd be a big section too. It'd be like a wing, you know what I'm saying? So... They ain't no small time company, so the fact that they're laying off a lot of people and they'll lay off more in the future is very telling. Uh, it says for the fourth quarter, revenue declined 7.8% to 24.9 billion from 27 billion last year, while average daily domestic volume dropped 7.4% and average international volume declined. 8.3%. In the same period, UPS reported net income of 1.61 billion or 1.87 per share compared to compared with 3.45 billion or 3.96 per share <coughs> a year earlier. Uh, Thomas said the volume decline was heavily weighed weighted in Europe, noting that the dip was 94% driven by the softness in the continent. Uh, the firm is still pushing to bring back more packages that were diverted during the Teamsters labor negotiations when concerns of a labor strike existed ahead of negotiation deadline. Tommy revealed that the company got back nearly 60% of the volume uh, by December or from 40% in October. For the coming year, UPS expects revenues of flat to down 2% in the first half, with sales of 4% to 8% in the uh, second half, said Brian Newman, Chief Financial Officer at UPS. Newman said the expected profit a tail of two cities uh, with the second half anticipated to reel in 20 to uh, 30 percent income growth. It says quarter one, which we are in right now, uh, will be the biggest challenge because we are lapping from a volume perspective and a full Teamster con Teamsters contract, but on a full year basis we are looking at operating margin of 10 to 10.6 percent said Newman. i think you can expect the second half of the year to be 11 to 12 uh, percent hmm. ups plans to give more details on its cost saving strategies and multi-year performance targets during its investor day event on march 26 and that concludes the article so a lot uh was said there to let you know that more layoffs more course cutting is gonna happen across the industry a lot of people is gonna lose jobs which is gonna lead to a potential universal basic income uh system being um being released so just because you have a big big job, big, you know, uh 
uh, facility and it look like it's secure, things can change at a moment's notice. So this is why you put your trust in Yalpa Hashim Yahushai. So I'm ended in you know, the book of Joshua. Where's the J, man? Uh, chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, uh, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. And so don't be afraid of these things that's coming. Uh, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, what with us whoever thou goest. But you have to believe this and you have to put your trust in your Bashim Yasha. You have to obey him. So the command is um, not to sin. Sin is the transgression of the law to obey his Lord's commandments and statutes. Alright? We are in the Sabbath, you know, law willing to the best of your ability. You know, you honor it. You know, some of us, you know, we have to work. And we cannot honor it fully. You understand? But uh, what manner of persons are, are you to be in our holy conversation? So how are you carrying yourself? Um, not only during the Sabbath, but before and afterwards, right? So pray more. Uh, read your Bible and try to have that fellowship with your Abashim and Shai, that relationship. All right? So that he can uh, warn you in visions and dreams and scenes. Right, uh, or by the angels, right on his behalf. All right, so Lord willing, this quick lesson was edifying to elect. Until next time, shalom. Pay your trust in Yahweh Bashim El Shai and not in the potential securement or successes of Babylon decree. All right, shalom.